Hi everyone, I'm Alexandra from Superior Science and today we're going to be making a water xylophone. Before we get started, I have a few questions to ask you. What makes sound? Have you ever heard crickets chirping? How do they make that sound? What low pitch sounds do you know? What high pitch sounds do you know? How do we hear sounds from far away? What makes sound? Well, vibrations make sound. Vibrations are rapid back and forth movements. To feel vibrations, start humming and then gently touch either side of your neck to feel your larynx vibrating. This is how we speak, laugh, and sing. The chirping noise that crickets make is a vibration too. Crickets make noise by rubbing their front wings together. There's a vein on the underside of the wing which rubs across the jagged surface of the other wing and this produces the characteristic cricket sound. Slow vibrations make low pitch sounds and fast vibrations make high pitch sounds. Try this. Take a ruler and place it at the edge of a desk so that the majority of the ruler is hanging off the desk or table and whack the end that's hanging off. The ruler will vibrate up and down and produce a low pitch sound. To raise the pitch of the sound, we can move the ruler closer to the desk. This will cause the ruler to vibrate faster, thus raising the pitch of the sound. In order to hear sound, three different things need to vibrate. First, the source object. This could be music playing, someone speaking, or a drum. Second, the molecules in the air. Air molecules bump into nearby air molecules, which bump into other air molecules. Sort of like if you were in a crowd of people and someone pushed you. Third, the eardrum. The eardrum receives the vibrations from the air and in our ear allows us to hear the sound. You might think you'd be able to make a sound by waving your hand quickly in the air, making vibrations. You wouldn't be able to hear it because the vibration isn't fast enough. The slowest vibration the human ear can hear is 20 times per second. As we know, sound can travel through the air, but did you know that sound can also travel through water or even through solids? Sound that is made underwater tends to stay underwater, and very little sound travels from water into the air. On to the activity. Now we're going to experiment with all of our knowledge of vibrations and sound and create a water xylophone. Overall, this is a pretty safe experiment, but be careful not to hit the glasses too hard with the metal spoon. You will need some water, some glasses, metal spoon, and food coloring. Line your glasses up and fill the first one full of water. The second glass should contain a little less water than the first glass. Fill up all the glasses in this way, each with less water than the last. To make a bright and colorful xylophone, add food coloring to each of the glasses. Try playing your water xylophone. Less water causes a higher pitched sound. If you need, add more water or tape water out in order to achieve the notes you want. <laughs> Try playing songs you know, like Twinkle Twinkle Little Star. Use two spoons and try to play Baby Shark. Or Mary Had a Little Lamb. The possibilities are endless.
Try using the spoon to tap different parts of the glass and see how that affects the sound. You could even try using different objects to tap the glasses. Hope you enjoyed this video! Don't forget to follow the Superior Science channel for more cool science activities. See you next time!